In the last video, we began creating and flagging boundaries. This video will continue that process. Create a boundary named inflow and another named outflow. The inflow and outflow boundaries are the flat ends of the intake port top and exhaust port boundaries, respectively. Make sure that the selection mode is set to cursor, the selection filter is set to by boundary fence, and then select any of the surface triangles on the flat end of the intake port top boundary. Assign these surface triangles to the inflow boundary. Click on any surface triangle on the flat end of the exhaust port and assign these surface triangles to the outflow boundary. You can see the intake valves through the holes in the intake port bottom boundary. Create a boundary named intake valve top. Click on the top of both valves on the intake side and assign these surface triangles to the intake valve top boundary. Create a boundary named exhaust valve top. And repeat this process to assign both valves on the exhaust side to the exhaust valve top boundary. You will later need to divide the intake and exhaust valves into three boundaries each top, angle, and bottom. Now you have flagged all of the exterior boundaries. There are still a few boundaries to flag, but you need to hide parts of the geometry to see them. Click on the View Options tab in the bottom right corner of the screen to open the View Options dock. If this dock is not visible, go to the View menu and check the appropriate checkbox. If you have two or more docks open, they might be stacked on top of each other. You can click and drag a dock away from the other docks to detach it, and then drag it back into the docks to make it larger. Once you resize multiple docks, you can switch between them by clicking on the corresponding tabs in the lower right corner of Converge Studio. The View Options dock lists all of the boundaries. Note the Hide All and Show All buttons at the top of the dock that you can use to quickly hide or show all of the boundaries. In the boundary list, uncheck the checkboxes next to liner, head, intake port bottom, and exhaust port boundaries. Now that you have hidden these boundaries, you can see the valves clearly. In the geometry dock, click on the fence tab. Select the edge selection criterion in the by arc entity selection filter and click on an edge two rows from the bottom of any of the four valves. Click Mark Fence. Now, click on an edge one row above that, and click Mark Fence again. These two boundary fences mark the division between the valve top and valve angle, and the valve angle and valve bottom. Make boundary fences in the same location for the other three valves. Now click back on the Flag tab. Create four new boundaries. The Intake Valve Angle, Intake Valve Bottom, Exhaust Valve Angle, and Exhaust Valve Bottom. Choose the Triangle Selection Criterion in the By Boundary Fence Entity Selection Filter and click on the Intake Valve Angle Boundary in the Boundary List. Now click on the Intermediate Layer of Surface Triangles on both of the intake valves and click Apply. Converge Studio will assign these triangles to the Intake Valve Angle Boundary. Next, click on the Intake Valve Bottom Boundary in the Boundary List and select the part of the intake valves that is below the intake valve angle. Click Apply. You have now properly flagged the three different parts of the intake valve. Repeat this same process on the other side for the exhaust valve angle and exhaust valve bottom boundaries. Now that you have properly flagged the exhaust valves, create a boundary named Spark Plug Electrode. Hide all the boundaries and then show the spark plug boundary. 
Rotate until you can see the underside of the spark plug and assign the five surface triangles on the bottom of the spark plug to the spark plug electrode boundary. Remember, you've hidden all the boundaries except for the spark plug, so that's why the spark plug electrode disappears. To show the spark plug electrode, go to the View Options dock and check the checkbox next to Spark Plug Electrode. You have now finished assigning surface triangles to boundaries. Verify that the Not Assigned boundary in the Boundary list of the Flag tab contains zero triangles. You cannot run a converged simulation if there are triangles in boundary zero. Note that you can recreate boundary fences using the boundaries you have flagged. In the Fence tab, click the Reconstruct Fences from Existing Boundaries button and Converge Studio will create boundary fences between existing boundaries. This tool is useful if you delete your boundary fences and wish to quickly recreate them. The next video will describe how to identify and repair defects in the surface geometry. Thank you for watching.